Hi Satch, welcome to your Valentine special forecast for singles. Now let's take a look. If you'll be meeting the love of your life or will it be another lesson to learn? Let's take a look. I'll be very careful with the people that you'll be meeting. Uh, you're going to be very vulnerable to people who's not really safe to be around with. And somebody who is highly toxic. Well, Sag, it seems like you're going to be meeting somebody who just wanted to have sex and nothing more and nothing less. Uh, be very careful. I feel like the person that you're going to be meeting has a... Well, they are twins, but the other person is... Um, I feel like they're already settled. Well, the, 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 while the person that you're going to be meeting is some someone who's still looking. Uh, just be very careful because... Um, you might meet uh, someone who cannot be trusted as well. Okay, let's take a look at the clarifications on that. Uh, this is going to be one of your clients or one of your associates. I don't feel like this is somebody that you're working with. But this is just connected to your work. And be very careful because it might just create a very unusual reputation to you around your workplace okay and be very careful about that all right you and your friends or you and your work colleagues will be going out at a party or will be going out in a celebration on the, the day itself like 14th onwards or 13th and uh, I feel like this is where you're gonna be meeting this other guy okay uh he is a mixture well he or she okay it's a mix it's a mixture of earth air and fire all right well uh they're single i'm not seeing anything that you know that they are married or already committed but it seems like they are really single but the thing here is i don't feel like this person will be taking you seriously so don't expect okay that this whole sexual thing or fling will will um bridge down into a relationship and this person is also a trickster okay and you're gonna know the real colors of this person once you well go out the second or third time because uh, whatever that they'll be claiming at the first night of your meeting it will be changing gradually and the second and third meeting or second and third date and this person has a very weird and different fetish. And uh, they are very paranoid about using your protection because they don't want to have a child. And they love putting up a show. Yeah, that's weird. You know, it's like... Uh, and, yeah. Actually, okay, this is a little bit perverted, but hmm. they may appear very ideal. Well, you know, I mean, when it comes to their finances or when it comes to their career or job, they're um, they're they they look very decent and they're also educated. But it seems like something is wrong with this person because they um get more 
into it okay or they love it more when someone is watching or they love putting up a show like what i said so be very careful about this and being manipulated into something that you don't want to happen or have because you might just create an instant reputation because of this person and even if they are very good looking charming sweet and they have very sculptured body um don't really fall for it it seems like this person already have a history with their uh, relationships even in the past now there is another person that you will be meeting which is an older fire sign and this is still around your workplace okay and this i feel like even though they already have two children they're still single either they're a single father or they're divorced or a widower okay i don't see anybody else in their life except that they're they're also looking for love so with this other person that you're going to be meeting which is just around your age if you can you know just try to discard it and don't try to even consider this person but the person that you're going to be meeting but this will be around 17th to 16th or towards it, it will be right after valentine's that this person will be asking you out or will be um sending you some you know some signs or uh, they are going to be letting you know that they like you okay but that will be right around um, towards the end of the month and this is the most ideal person more likely a very happy family oriented and a good provider okay so might as well just go for this one and i feel like you also like this person it's just that you don't know that this person also likes you back um they're just trying to you know do what's right and not to get dragged down into a controversy or a scandal that's why they're keeping their distance from you because the two of you work in the same area or in the same department or same company and that is really against your policies okay that's why this person cannot really take a step forward but they've been looking into your way for like a long period of time already all right hmm All right, let's take a look. What's going to be the, uh, you know, the the lesson that you have to learn or the things that you have to change in order for you to create a good harmony in your relationship. Fearlessness, blame, perspective shift okay now you need to not really listen to your fears but when the person seems too smooth almost too good to be true you have to use your instincts okay and there's nobody else to blame here except you even if your friends will be introducing you to this person or even if your work colleagues will be introducing you to this person it's still your judgment and it's still your decision at the end of the day set a different perspective let's say for example you need to love yourself more and aim for more and don't settle for anything less and stop thinking about that person from the past whom you're still keeping a picture of and um I feel like it's also time for you to move on from that person as well. Alright. So anyway, that's it for you for this Valentine's Sagittarius. And if you want to talk to me live on the phone or live on the calls, just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net. Blessings to you.